So Cajun American is asking, what are your thoughts on YouTubers giving snake robotic snakes robotic legs, uh, revising Yahweh's uh, five thousand year curse or reversing? Sorry, hmm. um, is this forbidden under any of your competing competing sects of Abrahamism? I mean, this is okay. Let me actually bring up the article. We're giving legs snakes. We're undoing. It really in, in that in that article there's uh there's like a youtube video that like follows this engineer um who like mm. built this thing and it's like way too long to watch i think it's like an hour or something long but i i did watch a good yeah. bit of it because it was it was quite ridiculous uh it was very funny um this snake willingly went into this thing and then it started moving and it just kind of calmly sat there it did take them a while um but it definitely worked and it was effectively moving. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, um, it was pretty wait, interesting. I, just, I don't want to watch the whole thing. I just want to see. Yeah. Where the, okay, wow. Um, uh, wait, did the I snake... Did the snake, like, understand how the thing works? I, no, I highly doubt it. It took forever for them to, like... But how does it... Okay, but the, it's not in control of the legs, is it? No, I don't think so. I think it just lays so, in there and then it just starts... The thing just starts moving. So it's not like it's not like it's connected to the snake's like movements or anything, I don't think. That's I just not think, very impressive. I thought like it's... They like... Okay, like this is what I thought. prosthetic limbs. You're thinking No, like, I yeah. thought I thought they connect... They somehow... Uh, this is how what I thought happened, right? So I thought they figured out how to read the wavelengths from the mm. snake's brain associated with moving forward yeah and they would detect the wavelengths from the brain every right. time the snake wants to move forward and then connect that to the legs mm -hmm. and the legs would start moving forward whenever no, that's, the, the snake wanted to move that's forward. way 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 cooler uh than this this is still cool in my opinion i still enjoy it why is um, that cool but... it's just like is uh, like how is this like engineering this well, is like just a thing. motor i mean i know but it's like it's just a motor that moves the legs. Like, I could, I mean, I'm not an engineer. I could do this. I just yeah. need a tube right. and, a, and a motor and right. some plastic legs. Yeah. And then but that's, that's what, not impressive at all. That's what the second I, guy I, who built a wheel said. You know, the first guy actually had to build the wheel, and the second guy was like, ah, that's not impressive. But I they didn't build thing. anything. <laughs> it's just a motor. It's just some mo legs that move he, that's yeah, the, yeah. and he just put a tube next to it that's not you're, impressive at all i am you're, you're very correct. disappointed i am very disappointed i thought so, this thing was connected to the guy to the snake's brain and it so, was like the snake was now controlling their robot their legs so for, so for everybody out there you know this is this is what we're saying um you know armin would like the best minds out there to actually get some like electrodes and like you know figure out you know brain waves of snakes and like really give them legs okay so so whoever out the, it, it, i don't know what skills are needed to do that but whatever skills those are please put them to good use um because because um, armin is not impressed by this so. not at all Lackluster, this like this snake has no legs it's just in a tube that happens uh -huh. to be attached to but it seems to be i mean it seems to be comfortable you know it seems to be riding in there no, no. you know not... <laughs> not okay well okay well so you're unimpressed but <laughs> I'm very, is very... is this forbidden <laughs> under islam is this is this uh like not allowed for some reason I mean, it seems more biblical than Islam related. I mean, yeah. I don't remember in the Quran mentioning that the snake had legs before. Mm. I think that was more of a Bible thing than a Quran yeah. thing. It's definitely. Said, it's it's weird when I when you read when I because I read both the Bible and the Quran. Sometimes I forget mm. that the God, especially the Garden of Eden and the Noah story, which parts were in which. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Wait, did I... you guys have? Yeah, you guys did have that. Yeah, and and there's and there's doubles of both, which is the other weird thing in the Bible. You get two versions of the Garden of Eden, you get two versions of Noah. It's just weird, um, but yeah, like specifically in in that story in the Bible, it does like Yahweh does say like, "I will curse you, snake, to never like have legs or whatever." But I also don't right. think it. I, I don't. I don't think there's anything biblical that I can think of that really would be like, this is a huge 
big no-no or anything unless you just want to go with the yeah. standard like you know yes yahweh is in control of all the universe no no the, no no the thing that okay so gaijin american is saying would it be, be blasphemous that's the question mm -hmm. okay so no but yes mm -hmm. no as in there's nothing in the quran or the hadith or biblical teaching that was specifically says do not do that right but so you have to you have your mindset has to be on the whole idea you have to be a com an additional philosophy to what you could get, get out of Islam or Christianity for you to see this as blasphemous. And that additional philosophy is that transhumanism and just messing with nature is a, a, a satanic mm, yeah. plan um, to for humans to basically build the Tower of Babel and you know become independent from God and this whole knowledge you know, through knowledge, through the, this, this is all back, goes back to the Garden of Eden, the apple of, you mm -hmm. know, using knowledge to try to become more than human, to, to defeat God and all of that. And God will eventually overcome, right? And this whole, you know, satanic, transhumanist um, plan, you know, they, they they even think like trans transgender rights is in line with that. Like they're trying, we're mm -hmm. trying to change things about nature in a way so that we could become better than hum a bit more than human and defeat death eventually and defeat God's plan. And we will suffer and you know eventually we will be defeated by God's right. That we are we're in we're in league with the devil right now. Mm -hmm. we're, we're doing these things. But That's again, fair. you cannot really read you can't really get that out of the Bible and the Quran. But th there is a whole bunch of people who think like that, including yeah. our very own Daniel Hayreju, right? So I don't yeah. know what he thinks about this. Yeah, I would love to get I would love to get that reaction, just like a five minute clip of of somebody and just him just trying to go through, you know, what is what is correct. But, yeah. yeah, good question, D. We wanted a different perspective, so we just swapped. No, do sides. you know why I switched sides? Well, it looks like we're looking at each other better. Yes, exactly. Yeah, look, yeah. When you're like this, I'm looking at the screen and I look right. like I'm looking into the void, right? Right, right. But if we're like this, now that I'm looking at my screen, yeah. it looks like I'm looking at you. That's yeah, it looks, looks like there's a connection between our eyes and stuff, you know, like we care yeah. about each other. Or, you know, I'm sorry, it's getting weird. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Let's move on. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.